Good evening. I'm KY Low. Cafe Pacific has announced major changes to the Asia Miles program. In summary, you can earn more miles on most flights, there are more seats to redeem, and redemption costs have changed quite a bit. So, let's have a closer look. This is the new earn chart. The number of miles that you can earn is now standardized according to fare class and distance band. It's very similar to the Marco Polo Club. People who buy the cheapest economy class tickets will benefit the most. Flights to Indonesia, India and Sri Lanka will earn between 50 and 100 percent more miles. All other flights will see their earnings at least double. In one of the more extreme cases, Flights to Shanghai will earn five times the miles earned under the old system. If you are going for elite status, it is worth buying discounted economy or premium economy tickets. To determine how your flight is affected by the changes, you should compare the number corresponding to fare classes M, L, and V to the distance of your flight. Since this can be mind-boggling, I have created a table showing which flights will earn more miles. For instance, I will earn roughly the same number of miles because I usually fly between the UK and Hong Kong. However, people flying regularly from Australia or North America are very likely to lose out. The number of miles earned in business class has generally increased or remained roughly the same with the exception of flights to a few Chinese cities, Manila, most of the Indian subcontinent, and California. First class flights to all destinations will earn more miles with the exception of Colombo, Bengaluru, and Mumbai. Well, it appears that those Sri Lankans and Indians are getting the shaft here. Now, let's look at the redemption side of things. Firstly, redemptions will only come in the form of one-way tickets. If you want to redeem a round-trip ticket, you need to redeem a ticket in each direction. The cost of a one-way ticket has decreased slightly but remained the same for all classes. However, just how often would you need to redeem one by itself? I think the most important change is that all short-haul round-trip flights, which cost more than 20,000 pounds to redeem, can now be redeemed for that amount. As a result, you're looking at a reduction of 10 to 25,000 miles, or 33 to over 50%. Flights affected include those to Japan and South Korea, which are favorites of Hong Kong people. In addition to places like Beijing, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and India. Meanwhile, it will cost 1,000 fewer miles to redeem economy class ground trips to Australia the Maldives, and the Middle East. Big deal. On the other hand, it will cost more miles to redeem round-trip tickets in anything above economy to the Maldives and destinations further away. We are looking at increments from 6 to 30,000 miles. Well, I guess someone has to give for others to take, right? Upgrades will cost more in general. Most of the damage is done to those who want to go from premium economy to business class for long-haul flights, like me for instance. The cost of these upgrades will go up by over 50%. But hey, look on the right side. It's still more cost-effective to redeem such upgrades for flights between the UK and Hong Kong than tickets at this point. Going by price differences, it is often a good idea to redeem upgrades from economy to business class in short flights without premium economy. Flights to places between 750 and 1,100 miles away are the hardest hit, with a 70% increase in the number of miles required. Flights further out are much more bearable with just a 13% increase. In conclusion, Cafe Pacific is doing the average Hong Kong person a massive favor. Their travel habits are exactly what is rewarded under the new system. Just not all those Super Japan fans. Unfortunately, their benefits come at the expense of long-distance travelers like me. 
So, what do you make of the changes? How have they affected you? Please leave a comment below. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you soon.